Did you know questions are powerful? They create connections. Questions drive us. Questions inspire action. Questions bridge the gap. Questions open doors. Questions show that you care. Someone said, a wise man can learn more from a foolish question than a fool can from a wise answer. Did you know that the most serious mistakes people make in life is not because of wrong answers? The truly dangerous thing is that we ask the wrong questions. Welcome to the Wisdom Inspired Talks podcast. I am Yomi Akinpelu, your wisdom coach, speaker, and teacher. Today, we're speaking about questions. Let's start with a quote. It is not the answer that enlightens, but the question, says Eugene Ionesco. A famous educator once said, one of the biggest things you get out of a college education is a questioning attitude, a habit of demanding, weighing evidence, a scientific approach. One of the best ways to get men to think is to ask them questions, pertinent questions. In fact, in most cases, it is the only way to get them to think. Asking questions brings more clarity. There are no right answers to wrong questions, says Ursula Gwyn. Learning is not about consumption, it's about creation. Asking questions and answering them is the best form of learning. We learn by doing. The brain works by pulling in information, not by pushing it in. Learning is not a spectator sport. Memory is not something you have. It's something you do. In school, we're rewarded for having the right answer, not for asking a good question, says Richard Saul Werman. The Socratic method of teaching through questions is still embraced by educators from the height of Harvard Law School to the local kindergarten class. Research shows that asking questions improves the learning and performance by as much as 150%. Nancy Willard said, sometimes questions are more important than answers. Questions can be very useful in many settings. People in general don't like taking orders or even instruction. Therefore, give suggestions or couch your instructions or orders gently or wisely as a question. Good questions are at the heart of reflection and meditation. Successful people ask better questions and as a result get better answers. The challenge is that the right question isn't always so obvious. If your questions are focused, they will stimulate creative thinking because there is something about a well-worded question that often penetrates to the heart of the matter, outwits the average mindset, circumvents the status quo, triggers new ideas and insights, and sparks focused action. If you ask high quality questions, they will help you create a high quality life. Sir Isaac Newton said, I find intelligence is better spotted when analyzing the questions asked than the answers given. Asking good questions is the key to being a good conversationalist. It was said of President J.F. Kennedy that he made you think he had nothing else to do except ask you questions and listen with extraordinary concentration to your answers. French philosopher Claude Levi Strauss once said, scientists are not people who give the right answers, they are those who ask the right questions. Write out the questions and answers you discover because you will find that what you think after you write the answer is different from what you thought before you wrote it. Writing helps you to discover what you truly know, think, and believe. Voltaire said, judge a man by his questions rather than his answers. So ask more questions, listen more, speak less, don't be a know-it-all. Make why your favorite word, but be careful not to turn your conversations into the Spanish Inquisition. 
Anytime a person is answering more than asking, you can be sure they've slowed down in their growth and have lost the fire for personal growth. The more questions you ask, the more results you get and the better questions you ask, the better results you get. A major stimulant to creative thinking is focused questions. Robert Half said, asking the right questions takes as much skill as giving the right answers. And John Mason said, life's most important answers can be found in asking the right questions. But when you ask questions, don't ask leading questions. Don't ask limiting questions. Don't ask questions that assume a certain answer. Don't ask questions that box people in. Don't ask questions that already include an answer in the question or leave no room for a variety of options. You already know what you know. So ask good questions. Ask questions that will bring out what needs to be known. Great questions are designed to find out what the other person knows. So stay quiet and listen. You never know what you learn when you ask the right way. So imagine this scenario. Wrong question can be, can you think of a good reason not to discipline this child? The right question should be, what do you think is the best way to deal with this child's situation? Confucius said, anyone who knows all the answers is not asking the right questions. Learn something new every day and evaluate and reflect on it at the end of the day. For example, an average person asks, can I do this? A growing person would ask, how can I do this? Ask why, explore, evaluate discoveries and repeat again. Be curious and ask questions. I think it was John Maxwell who said, whenever I learn something new, I ask myself these questions. Where can I use this? When can I use this? And who needs to know this? He who asks a question is a fool for five minutes, but he who does not ask a question remains a fool forever, says a Chinese proverb. Sir Francis Bacon said, a prudent question is one half of wisdom. And that is all for today. Until next time, keep on growing in wisdom and maturity. Blow the cup of your capability. Be unstoppable. Be awesome. I'm cheering you on.